Hey everybody, so we've got another couple of free agent signings to talk about. Jake Gardner, obviously, I just did in the last video, is the big one. But uh, Joe Thornton, to no one's surprise, has finally re-signed with the San Jose Sharks on a one-year deal uh, worth $2 million for this coming season. So Thornton back in San Jose, as expected, uh, on a fairly cheap deal in what could be his last season, maybe, maybe not. Um, he, he doesn't, you know, he still can play. He can still produce at a high level. Uh, certainly not the player he was 10 years ago, but he still is a pretty darn good player. So it's not like they're going to be, you know, throwing him out of, of San Jose. But, uh, I also don't think at, you know, this age, he has too much left in the tank at 40 years old. But, uh, he, he's going to go at least for another year with the Sharks. Signed it for one year at two mil. So he's going to take a probably third line center role for them. I would think at this point he's probably their third line center this year. Um, and, and he'll be there for another season. So we all saw this coming. We knew a deal was going to get done between San Jose and Thornton. It was just a matter of time. They were in no rush to do it. Uh, as long as it got done before training camp, it's still before training camp, so it's all set. Thornton will be back. Someone who will, does not appear will be back in San Jose is Patrick Marlowe. Obviously, there was a lot of talk this offseason. Marlowe was done in Toronto, got traded, and then bought out. And there was a lot of talk that, um, that, that Marlowe was also going to be making a return to San Jose. It, it doesn't appear that that's actually going to happen. Um, it, there's been a lot of talk recently about this two sides just can't come to an agreement, and Marlowe now is exploring other options, and uh, it, it doesn't appear that anything is going to happen between the Sharks and Patrick Marlowe. So it's unlikely that we see him back, but Thornton is back, and uh, I think we all expected that. The other signing to talk I wanted to talk about was Riley Sheehan. Riley Sheehan has signed a one-year deal at nine hundred thousand dollars with the Edmonton Oilers. So Edmonton, looking to add to their forward depth, uh, has signed Riley Sheehan, who I'm sure, looking at this lineup, they're hoping can come in and play a third-line role. Um, more news out of Edmonton today is that Kyle Brodziak is probably not going to pass his physical, meaning he'll get placed on long-term IR before the season even starts, and he's probably, he's done. Uh, he'll, he'll still get paid for the remainder of his contract, but he'll be on LTIR, retired, um, basically meaning he's too injured to play. And that's going to be it for Kyle Brodziak, most likely, which definitely is going to take a hit to the Oilers forward depth, but now they have Riley Sheehan in there who comes in, can play center or, or wing, and, uh, you know, probably will play center with this team and gives them a viable option for third line center, which then knocks, uh, Jujar Kara down to the fourth line, which nothing against Jujar Kara, but he probably is much more of a fourth liner than a third liner where he belongs. And it helps out a little bit overall with depths of the of this team now Edmonton still to me is a team that needs a lot and adding Riley Sheehan is definitely not a move that's going to drastically change the Oilers season but it's certainly a nice depth move for their bottom six and um, we'll see what he looks like in, a, in an Oilers uniform this season so those are the two uh, other signings other than Gardner Gardner was the big one but Thornton's back in San Jose. Riley Sheehan goes to Edmonton. Uh, Patrick Marlowe most likely not going back to San Jose. So he's going to explore other options. And Kyle Brodziak, probably done as an NHLer, is not going to pass his physical. I saw that on Twitter today. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.